I'll be shooting from my balcony and uh, I've already aligned my telescope and right now we are tracking Saturn which is behind this wall and it's going to appear into this horizon of and the view of my balcony at about 12.30 a.m. and then right now it's 11.42 about an hour almost then it's going to come into balcony and it's going to go from here and then disappear behind that building hello and welcome to yasa tv today we're going to unbox test and review uh, this astro camera which is from sv bonnie model bv305 pro this camera is known for uh, being really uh, affordable and very very popular and famous like in um, beginners astro photography community uh, this is almost like half price of big name cameras so we're going to find out we're going to do intense testing at the end of the video so stay tuned watch full video and we're going to see how good this camera is let's get on it comes in a generic uh, packaging like this is like budget friendly camera so everything about this camera is uh, saving some bucks so this is how it looks, this is how it comes. The uh, box is a little bit beat up from the corner, but uh, and it's not sealed with any tape or anything. Uh, these small details. It says it right there, 305 Pro. And let's open it. So this is how it looks. It comes with a adapter for your telescope and a, another secondary adapter for your filters or something and the main unit. We will look at main unit in a second. We are going to see what else is inside. So it looks like there's something at the bottom. Of course there are two cables. One is for your guider or finder scope or however you want to use this. This special thing about this budget camera is this can also be used as a finder scope camera. So that's plus point. So that's the cable for that. And the USB cable, USB 3. So the previous model they provided two double headed snake cable like but it was 2.0. So in this particular model is 3.0 so they only have one head and some cleaning cloth one we've been clumsy today another filter adapter and a really nice detailed user guide that's it so let's go and uh, check the main unit hard to keep hold of So this camera looks nice, like well finished, like aluminum, good craftsmanship on the aluminum uh, finish side. Uh, looks cool, like even an ambient temperature, if you touch it, feels cool, like more colder than the normal because of the aluminum. And let's open this up. Ooh, nice. Nice clean uh, sensor and it looks spotless so far it is uh, it also has a built-in uv ir filter with some people it's controversial some people take it out we will test with it as is and see what it can produce i'm not going to keep it open for long i'm going to block it and uh, yeah it looks nice like uh, sensor looks nice and decent for budget like you this camera is half price to its competitors uh, same make model like kind of same release same year release models so we can see how good it can do so let's get on to some testing okay guys the setup is ready i'm shooting from my balcony and uh, I've already aligned my telescope and everything 
the laser that I installed is really helpful. These are 3D printed mounts for laser. And right now we are tracking Saturn, which is behind this wall. And it's gonna appear into this horizon of, and the view of my balcony at about 12.30 a.m. And then right now it's 11.42, about an hour almost. Then it's gonna come into balcony and it's gonna go from here and then disappear behind that building. And I will have four hour window, four hour until it's gonna travel all the way. And within those four hours I have to capture. So I will be testing this uh, camera and you're gonna see how this performs tonight. Um, and we're gonna show you uh, what this camera can do. Uh, and you don't have to spend so much money to get it started. And uh, we'll find out. I will be using my infrared camera because it will be really dark and it has IR camera. I will only be using it for brief moment, not when I'm actually recording and capturing frames because infrared light might interfere the image quality of the telescope. Here I also have uh, this portable power station and setup is all ready to go. So right now I am capturing some images and uh, it's looking good so far and the frames are being captured and a sharp cap and uh, yeah looking good so it's all going good trying to capture different different um, um, focus and levels and right now I'm capturing at this setting, zero gain almost, 44 gain, and it's a raw data, and then it's going to be processed later 